You know where we are. We are in downtown Kingston, the downtown Kingston Art District, and this is the Kingston Creative Art Walk. This time around, we are bringing the drama. Are you? Well, we'd love to hear from you. Share your favorite moments with us online on Twitter at KGN Creative, on Instagram at Kingston Creative JM, also on Facebook at Kingston Creative JM. We're looking forward to hearing from you, and we're so excited to share the drama with you today in this art walk. Smack! Smack! Serve! Sir! Come on then! Do you mean to tell me that I shouldn't reach back here yet? I don't know if you are still already, man. Miss Mark! If you go and come back, I'm going to reach back here yet. See, I never see a woman with this costing and this and disrespectful to customer, you know, man. Huh? But she's not even nice. No, no, it's forever, man. You know, she opened up shop five, she's not planning to sell nobody. Hmm? We say yes today. We tell you the truth. You don't No. All right. But me look like man. So and then guess what happened to me? Last night I dreamed of dirty water, right? Mm. And this man when me wake up, me dash my face through the window. Me only get smiley bad out. Why me? Oh. No be dirty that man. Shadow star. Serve him right. Me do not. Me don't know about people doing that do. But me ask somebody to check his number today and it never ever. Miss Man, serve. Serve. Who is stopping that from the place? Who look at wait? Eh? Look how long we are waiting. One more waiting, one more waiting. Tell me if you like, come out. Why are you so impatient? If you're so impatient, then why you don't leave? Eh? Leave. You have to serve me or what? Wait and see. Miss what you want. Miss what you want. Alright. We can get two pound of camu, please. And a pack of rice. Give me one all purpose. And a pin. That's. Oh, and two dotty girls, please. And thanks. Woman, I work for going up. I'm a come here before her. Maybe tell her. Keep back in quiet. Cause we are by not even important. One twenty gross. Where about there? Cheese, um, you don't remember? Remember? Beg your one now. Me not known. Government bond them up. We upgrade now. Get with the program, man. I mean, no, you come a shop and forget back. After you're not seeing I love me, eh? Frank, I'm going to touch you. Good talk. So, where you are now? Two people. Then, are you not going really knock down my place, Papa? My teacher. Give me the money. Here you go. Oi! Where's the other one? You have problems. You don't know, respect our show, no regards to nobody at all. Mm, that is true. That is true. Oh, so you think it's funny? Mm. Where you come from, man? Mm. I don't know, I know. But tell you what, like what you have to do at the mark tonight, that's my dead woman. No? You ever see me and chat to dead people? Well, you work at the mark. I don't know what you're eh? Do you be them, dress them up at the time and them something? Let me ask you something. Them talk to you? How you talk to them? Which one? <laughs> you know what? Stop taking this respect from you, you know? Only thing you can take on right now is the dead! Ooh. You know me, I don't want to disrespect you. Try it now. The time you're there, you're with me, you know, so you put on a couple of you, they'll go to the friend them down there, so. Hello? Hi, hi, hi. Come here. Come. What is it, sister? I am not your sister. Somebody want to talk to you. I could have one chat to me on your phone. Your friends on the other side. Then I ask more time you have to reach them, so. I then lonely. Yeah, man, man, tell me what I'll do. You go on, man. You soon get where you look from. You tell her the truth, I am not afraid of you, you know. I'm only afraid of you if I'm dead and at the mug. So run along now. Don't be pervert. What you look like? Did I chat to you, the man? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because only a dead mumma would have known that the secret there.
each night. The cotton tree came alive with a song it knew too well. The weight echoed through his branches was a legend of Bullbuck, the Doppy Conqueror. Bulbuk was the one who led them all that day, promising to conquer the freedom of those captured. He remembered that they were originally kings and queens with dreams of becoming doctors and healers. He remembered his father's story that he too was to be a leader. So he had to lead. As Bulbuk led them all that day, he was not knowing of the ship that just arrived in Kingston. The walk from country to town proved longer than his battle against gun. With sound that made ears whistle and nose bleed from his smell, the thudded ten bodies of his men hit the ground. The others kept and captured until the law saw fit to carry out the master's will. To be hanged in public for others to bear witness that if you rebel or us try to kill, out your choked mouth your blood will continue to spill. Bubok was the main lesson, for he had led the breach. Within a cage flung for torture's costume, Bulbuck dangling like the cotton bloom, his body to be bride for genetics to see, especially for eyes still young and at them knee. Accompanied only with the last meal that kindness of the law beseeched, a tied bread around his neck that his tied arms could never reach. Evening sun is coming, coming down. Evening sun is coming down. Sumawakaya with friends. We've been talking to the voices from the in between. And you found the golden bean. What's going on? It's time to get you back on track with our story. This story again? Hush! to the minds of people and in so doing have him rule forever the souls from yesterday cry on the first day of the presentation all the nations came in their best outfits they danced in carnivals as they presented their ideas to the leader Anansi first the leaders of the fern gully made a potion from fern and ginger Anansi tried this, but found it to be too spicy. This made him very angry. Fern, fern, you will grow far in the hills and down below. Dark through winding roads you'll be, with no more light and have no more glee. Jack? Jack Mandora? Then the Holland bamboo princesses walked forward. They were tall and regal in a bamboo made mug filled with hibiscus and aloe, offered their drink to Anansi. 
to bitter it was for the leader, and to the princesses he yelled, Princesses of the bamboo with your drink so harsh, away from water you'll stand near parched. Skinny and slender you will become, never to venture, never to run. The souls from yesterday cry, but we don't hear them. Fear swept over the entire carnival as a Nazi trapped each tribe. Some started to hide their portions away from him. Inconvenient though it may be, but you cannot walk away from your destiny. Anyone else? Then a child from the Blue Mountain slowly stepped forward. With golden beans of coffee danced to a grind, mixed with sweet drops of rainwater, presented it to Anansi. Stories are great, they take us on journeys, escaping the troubles. A young ma gives Anansi the potion. He drank it slower than the rest before. The entire assembly watched him carefully. This is from your lands? Yes, from our mountain so blue. Anansi was pleased. He called every nation to try this brew, but to his council, he whispered. This golden bean is filled with imaginative leap. Take it with you. In return, go seek. For somewhere in the future within these mountains, the true potion lives inside a mind. Cooked in desires, don't return until you find. That child was your mother, Jack. And now, Anansi seeks you to complete his story. Jack Mandora! Ma, where are you? Jack. You found the golden bean filled with imagination. Only a child from the Blue Mountain can activate it. This is so confusing. What does this mean? What? I don't understand. My mother and who is Anansi and why is he seeking me? See, Sansekul. She gave something special away to Anansi. Or empty fit. Whatever it was, you need to recapture. Retrieve it. That's why everything is so unstable. It's rocky. Go on a journey. Be man and fable. And sort out Anansi. Anansi, learn about Anansi, go find those who were there when it happened, go find them, there's something from them you must learn, like a school, the knowledge is hidden in the folklore, go buy some, before Anansi's Knocking at your door Bring your attention, bring it well Learn from the stories, tell from the spell Learn all the lessons and settle the feud You have something special and it know it's you Anansi Yes, Anansi Hey, Mokrit, stop the bubbling Welcome to Johnny's place. Forward. Is correct. The big movie kicks on Paradise Meter right here, and I hear Stacy flipping around. Johnny's Place at 35 Don Robin Avenue started out, was originally designed to be my comedy club and theater. Um, of course, those people who know me know that I am passionate about stand up comedy, 
and the, the spoken word as you know as a performing um, piece and quite frankly when we started Johnny's Place at the end of 2019 the aim was to set up a, a, a comedy club energy a slash theatre energy and to give you know people like myself a chance to perform to a, to a live audience and so on but of course a global pandemic hit us and we certainly had to pivot and so we used this auditorium um, where the stage is to mount several other events, uh, mostly virtual events um, and it's, it's been working out you know, slowly for us. It's, it's been a challenge because we, we've had to work on the acoustics. In fact, we're still working on the acoustics for the space and building out um, so that we can host more virtual shows. Unfortunately for us, we've been able to partner uh, with some technical folks who are into you know, television and sound and, and recording and production. And so we're able to, to give our clients exactly what they want when they come here. So it's a one-stop shop to get your virtual shows done. We have enough space and a stage where we've housed you know, entire bands, um, uh, groups singing and dancing and so on. And it's really been just exciting to watch the space kind of evolve. You know, since 2019, we've literally had a space where we had to push down walls and and, and, and change a lot of the layout that was here totally. Just we've, we've totally, we've totally transformed the layout um, that was in here before. Open up the space to create a creative um, environment. Give it a stage. Um, lighting has been put in. We have sound equipment that's in here. We're working on a, a, a podcast studio, a voiceover studio right now. Uh, and it's exciting times. You know, where right now we have a, an art exhibition for a young artist named Conroy Green. Um, occupying the space and I'm just happy that we can provide a space for creatives whether you're a dancer, whether you're a fine arts painter, whether you're a comedian or an actor. is definitely welcoming for creative energy it's soothing just walking around the place seeing the, the brick wall the layout the lights and everything Johnny himself is very welcoming putting he has been putting my stuff out here like every single day endorsing my work and we all know that Johnny is an icon so his 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 audience is very much welcoming to these things Conrad Green always a pleasure thanks for choosing Johnny's place thank you for having me and one of the things we, we, we were trying to get out there more is to let creatives know that they can come down to the space and just enjoy the ambience and have a conversation with a fellow creative um, whether it be face to face or online we have a great Wi-Fi set up here and uh, you know a nice little area for you to sit down and have a drink and have a chat so we're inviting creatives to come on down, check out Johnny's place, utilize all the facilities and linkages that we have. Um, and um, let's, let's see what we can create, let's see what we can do. One of the projects we're pretty proud of is to shoot Paul O'Beal's marriage proposal um, right here at Johnny's place and uh, along with AB Concepts um, providing some technical support. And we're really proud of that because that particular project came out very well. We got some great feedback about that and um, we're hoping to do much more uh, productions from here as well. So, marriage proposal was pretty good. More fire! Rafael! You, you know what, sister? Your man have too much fire blazing inside this place and it just might burn down the house. More fire! Guys! Please, just bring it down! Selassie I! Pauline! Here I! This is the biggest problem I and I have in with you right now. Do not refer to I as guy. You see right now, you as the elder sister need to punch your way into Rasta's way of liberty. Because for the past 12 months, you have been falling outside the sphere of Rasta's requirements. <laughs> See your daughter, you need to stay muted and less deep rooted into Rasta's personal affairs. You see, just as how you cannot see, the daughter must remain speaking. 
speechless. Go on. Dubs, listen to me now, Mr. Rastaman. Outside of marriage proposal, we've done quite a bit of the Johnny Live comedy bar and uh, stand-up comedy shows here, virtual, of course. Um, and that those came out very well as well. And I big up my stand-up comedians for always supporting me. And we're hoping to do a lot more projects out of Johnny's place. Welcome to the comedy bar. No, I have a nephew. I still have him. Still my nephew. Mm. Still my nephew. But when he reached like 30 year old, him now work. So I go country. So I say, where I go? Why I go not go on? I said, not, not all. Not, no police never lock you up? No. You not breed nobody? No. None of them girl father and I look for you? No. You, you, you are not loader man? No. You are not doctor? No. You are not driver? You are not thief? Nothing. 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 No, nobody know what you are not wanted for nothing. 30 year old? <laughs> Do something man. Get somebody pregnant man. Thief something man. Contribute to society man. <laughs> Welcome to the comedy bar. We're laughing in the comedy bar. Yeah, the comedy bar. <laughs> Johnny Live Comedy Bar. And we are here. We've battled through um, this, this whole COVID period. We've continued to improve the space over time. And we will continue to improve the space. Like I said, one of the things we want to work on now is our voiceover studio, which is almost there. We just need to um, clean the space out a little bit and then put in some more equipment. But we're getting there and I think that you know the more we continue to work on the space to keep the space active and open um, then we'll accomplish all those things. very comforting for me. I mean, it's like a second home. It has become a second home, you know, a home away from home here. Our day-to-day -day activity, not so much, you know, because of the old COVID and all of that, but we still try our best to accommodate as much as we can while being social distancing. On Fridays, we have our game nights, which you all need to come out to because it's popping here on a Friday. You know, the Christmas party is coming up. We're not too far away, people. I don't want you to believe that we're far away from this. So you can start thinking about that at Johnny's place in mind to host your birthday parties, your Christmas party, whatever the event may be. So you need to follow Chris Johnny Daily on Instagram, people, to see what is happening. And also our YouTube page, Johnny Life Productions. We now feature in the bodies show out the Jamaican sketch. Three suits, if you're not watching what are you doing with your life, you need to go and subscribe right now, like, comment, and share. God, this is the most heavenly minister in Parliament. Hey, 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 hold on. Let's have a time in Parliament, Jack. Let's have a time in Parliament, Jack. Mono, be more for me. Be more for me, man. Be more for me. Minister, be the board. Minister, be the board. Opposition, be the board. Now, my fellow Jamaicans, we cannot tolerate the hate anymore. We cannot tolerate the behavior of some of people in the society. All taxi drivers who disrespect the citizen shall go to jail. So, Three Stools is a new Jamaican sketch comedy series that we started right here at Johnny's place as well. We've decided to use the bar, you know, we, we worked on this bar area for, for, for quite some time and we said, you know what, we have it as a space, why not use it as a set or, you know, or, 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 or a backdrop to, to the sketch series that we, we've been thinking about. And so myself and Stacy, who works here at um, Johnny's place, along with um, Junior Williams, we decided to, to, to do it. You know, I, I started writing the series. Um, it's fun because I get to work with my son as well, my eldest, who is um, basically 20 years old now. Um, and he's into production and so you know, we shoot it together, we edit it, we, we produce it, we write it and, and we put it out there on YouTube hopefully you know the numbers continue to grow and people will continue to like it but the feedback so far has been awesome um, so all the characters are getting some love and we're enjoying producing Three Stools Tell a friend to tell a friend I'm past you sometime, 35 on Robin Avenue, I'm always here Johnny will be here Come to come have a drink, sit and talk with us, look at the space. We hope that soon 
you know, we, we can, we'll be able to have a live audience in here. Certainly have our chairs and you know, enough things ready to put on a great show. We have some lights, we have some sound equipment, um, air conditioning units that are set up already and waiting for a live audience. We just want that go ahead from the government and the powers that be to accommodate um, the folks in here again. And uh, we are ready. So as soon as we get the green light, Johnny's Place at 35 Don Rabin Avenue will be open and will be ready.
Thank you for tuning in to the Kingston Creative Art Walk. What a show that was. That was Nuff Nuff Drama. What was your favorite section? Who was your favorite artist? Share with us online, on Twitter, at KGN Creative, on Instagram and Facebook, Kingston Creative JM. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your girl Tavia. I'll see you next time.